talk a little bit about the Bessia today. Uh, we don't typically review our own knives. We leave that up to others, but we'll give you an overview. Um, if you haven't seen the Bestia yet, I'd be surprised. But this is basically, it's a kukri style knife. Uh, I wouldn't really call this a kukri uh, because the shape is a little different. But basically what you're looking at is it's, it's a chopping tool. So it's a quarter inch thick. It's got a nice high grind on it. Um, but it's thick all the way up to here. And the way that this is canted gives you that kukri type edge, especially for chopping right here. That is uh, what's, what's good about that, I guess, or, or comfortable about that is when you're holding this in that grip to chop with, as you swing, you can see I don't have to break my wrist to chop into what I'm trying to hit. I can, I can keep my wrist nice and solid and this edge is gonna be making contact ahead of my arm. So that's, that's what makes kukris so useful as a chopping tool. That's what makes axes so useful as a chopping tool is that the blade is actually in front of your, your body. So you don't have to swing as far, you don't have to break your wrist, you don't have to do any of that. You just get a good, you get a good chopping motion and a good swing without having to break your wrist like you would with a machete. So this is meant for, you know, larger things, maybe harder woods than you would normally use a machete on. Um, what's cool about it is you've got a really long handle. So even if you have humongous hands, you're still gonna find a good grip here. If you need to do some of the finer tasks and kind of use that front part of the blade, you can choke up and use the choil. Um, you know, so there's a there's a lot of versatility built into this, but first and foremost, it's called the Bestia. Clearly, this is made for chopping. It is made to just demolish wood. One note before we actually show, show some use with this bad boy. Don't be this guy. Whoever chopped this tree down, this tree was clearly alive. This is a campsite here in Idaho um, that we just rolled up to. I mean, you can see these guys are still setting up the, their trailer over there. Um, somebody chopped this down fairly recently. I mean, this wood is still pretty soft. Like I can still dent it with my fingernail. This tree was alive. Don't chop down live trees at campsites. If you didn't bring firewood, go buy some damn firewood. Don't, don't, don't be this person, okay? This is, this is not cool. However, since we're here, we, need, we, we gotta use this knife anyway. This tree was already chopped down. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and just show you some use with this knife. But again, don't chop down live trees unless it's on your own private property or you have a reason to do so that is other than just for firewood, okay? See, this tree was totally this tree was totally alive so again don't be that guy that's the best yeah